Well, hello, welcome back to Adrian's Digital Basement. This video, which you're about to watch, I actually recorded last night. And right now I'm recording an update because in the time between when I finished the video last night, edited it, shared it with my patrons, I had planned to release it this morning, there's been an update on the entire situation. So I'm gonna leave the original video as is, which is not that long, so you can watch that. And then at the end, I will have an update. So if you've already watched this video because you're one of my patrons and have seen it in early access, then you can just skip right to the update at the end. Well, hello everyone. This is gonna be a little bit of a strange video because uh, something going on between me and YouTube right now, and I'm trying to wrap my head around it and I'm really struggling to do that. So as you know, if you watch my channels, I have three YouTube channels actually. I have Adrian's Digital Basement. That's my original channel that I've been making videos on for a good number of years. I have Adrian's Digital Basement 2, the second channel where I kind of put mail call videos now and, and quicker to make videos, things like that. And I actually have a third channel called Adrian's Digital Basement 3 with uh, like Apple 3, three slashes. And on that channel, I basically use that. Well, I, had, I posted a couple of random videos on there and I also use it for posting behind the scenes stuff, generally videos that go out to my patrons. Also, if I'm sharing a clip with people like on the internet or whatever about something I'm working on, I'll often post it there because I like to keep all the, that kind of fluff videos off of my main channels because it gets hard to kind of manage all the videos and stuff on the different channels if there's a bunch of unlisted videos. So that's why I was using Adrian's Digital Basement 3 for that. There were a couple of public videos, like I mentioned, there was like a, a traffic video, and I think I had some commercials I uploaded from an old videotape I found from years ago, sort of stuff like that. So this drama that I'm having, this all went back to, I think, some point last week when I got an email from YouTube that they had disabled or deleted my third channel. And this is the email right here that I got from them. It just went to my email account that's associated with that channel. It says, hi, we've reviewed the content and found a severe and repeated violations of our community guidelines. Because of this, we have removed your channel from YouTube. We know this is probably upsetting, but it's our job to make sure that YouTube is a safe place for all. If we think a channel severely violates our policies, we take it down to protect other users on our platform. But if you believe we made a wrong call, you can appeal the decision. You'll find out more information about our policy in, the que and in question and how to submit an appeal below. And there's a learn more button. If I tried to go to my YouTube creator studio for the third channel, I get this error right here, unable to access Google product. It's been disabled or suspended whatever, whatever. I can still access the uh, other parts of the account. It's just the YouTube channel that's not working. Now, if I click this learn more button here, that takes me here to this page right here, which is impersonation policy. So they're saying the safety of our creators, viewers, and partners is our highest priority. We look to each of you to help us protect this unique and vibrant community. It's important to understand our community guidelines, yada, yada, yada. What this means to you if you're posting contents, you can't do anything with channel impersonation. This channel does not have to be 100% identical. It has to look similar. Well, I can't show you how that channel looked anymore because it's gone. But the banner had, well, had my logo and it said Adrian's Digital Basement 3. And I don't remember what picture I had at the top. And then any of the videos that were being posted, they were generally, like I said, unlisted. They had me in them, like talking. There was videos of me with my face, everything like that. This was unique content for my patrons. It's me, but it, none of it was content that was the same as what was on my other channels. Although occasionally I did post videos that were draft copies of stuff I was working on. I'd upload it there so I could share it out to some people so they could take a look before I published it on the main channel or on the second channel. Anyhow, yeah, look, examples, channels with the same name, blah, blah, blah. It, essentially, this is it. This is all it says. There's nothing else on this page except they thought that I was impersonating somebody. Well... The only possibility is that I was impersonating myself, as in Adrian Sigil Basement 1 and 2. So going back to the original email that I got, remember how it mentioned that I could file an appeal, and it says your appeal can be made here, and there's a link to click, and there is a link to the original channel, which I said is gone. If I try to open it, it won't, there's no channel there, in fact. Uh, let's just try opening that right here, and yeah, there we go. The account has been terminated due to violation of YouTube's policy, prohibiting impersonation. Actually, originally when I clicked on that, it gave like a monkey icon. It said something was wrong, but well, apparently this is what it's doing now. Anyhow, I clicked on the appeal button and I put in all the information. I said, 
I'm Adrian Black. Here is my are my three channels. There's one, two, and three. I put links to all three of them. And of course, um, I put the email address that's on the account that goes with the main YouTube channels and everything. So I was like, contact me there, blah, blah, blah. All was good. I got an email back saying case has been open and they'll get back to me in a day or two, or I can't remember what it said originally. Well, I did get an email back. And of course this went to my account that's associated to the main channels and Adrian's Digital Basement 3, we've reached a decision on your appeal. And guess what? We reviewed your appeal and after careful consideration, they reviewed it carefully, we have continued or confirmed that it violates our in-person impersonation policy. We, we know that this is probably disappointing, blah, 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 how this affects you. So yeah, I've been found guilty of impersonating myself. My third channel, which, you know, luckily isn't something I've monetized, so it's not like I'm losing revenue on it, um, it's gone. It's deleted. YouTube deleted it. And on that account, I can't even create more accounts. I, I guess I've like banned from YouTube entirely on that one. I went to Twitter and I reached out to, um, let's uh, switch cameras here. So I uh, have the stream deck here. There we go. Full cam. I, I went to Twitter. And of course I tweeted this. If you follow me on Twitter, uh, it's Craig one black. It's what I am on Twitter. Um, you know, I, Put copies of these messages and uh, you know I I at whatever I sent a tweet and I at team YouTube and they said they were gonna look into it well today they got back to me and they had the exact same answer that this email says right here after review I'm still violating the impersonation policy so I'd really love to understand how it's possible that me Adrian Black on my third channel was impersonating myself and how that is a violation of YouTube's terms and conditions and what community guidelines. How exactly was I violating the guidelines by having a channel that I make and run alongside my other two channels? So main channel, second channel, third channel, that is somehow not allowed. And actually no one has ever said what I've impersonated. So. Maybe my account was taken over and hacked and was like one of those Elon Musk scam channels. And that's why they deleted it. But no one ever has told me who or what I was impersonating. So my only assumption is that it was me, myself, because if the channel was never hacked, then the only branding that was on there was Adrian's Digital Basement branding, my branding of my channels. Yeah, I mean, I. You probably hear the frustration in my voice here a little bit. People have been telling me I should switch platforms, move to something else. I mean, that's not really viable, unfortunately. YouTube provides uh, the partner program, which, you know, you get money from ad views and all that stuff. That's not really something that's possible on other platforms. Obviously, there's things like Floatplane, Nebula, stuff like that, where, yeah, you can have videos and be sustained, like, through memberships of your viewers. And that's certainly something that I definitely need to consider here because the fact is I've talked to multiple people. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, oh, I should bring it up. I got online with one of the chat things with the Google support people through chat as well. and had them look into this problem and let me find that chat because it's hilarious. It's absolutely hilarious. All right. Here's the transcript for this chat conversation I had <laughs> with the person at Google. Basically, when you have a big enough channel on the Creator Studio, this is where you manage your YouTube channel, there's a button you can click that gets you talking to a, an agent. I assume it's not AI, but an actual person that you're talking to. And uh, because on my other channel, the one that's been terminated, I can't even look at the Creator Studio, so I don't even know if that's an option on that account. But I did it from my main account because I figured I'd start there and say, hey, these are my three channels and you shut down one of them and can you not, you know, unshut that down? Anyway, so I'll skim through a lot of this, but basically uh, the agent came on, I think this was on this past Saturday, and I said, oh, I have three channels. One of them got shut down for impersonation. Sorry to hear that. I sent them a copy of the, you know, a screenshot of the message here, which I've already showed you. I gave them the three URLs of the three channels. So Adrian Sigil Basement 2, this is actually Adrian Sigil Basement 1. Uh, the main channel, it just, I didn't use the short or the friendly form of the URL is the long, that's the uh, the long complicated one. And this one here is the channel that was shut down. 
Um, and they asked, okay, can you tell me what the Terminator channel is? I, I told them that again. And they said, okay, and it was a bunch of waiting. And they said, okay, well, it looks like that account that got shut down is with a different Google account, right? And it is, it's a different account. I have different accounts managing these uh, different channels. And they were like, you need to contact us from that other YouTube account. So because of privacy concerns. And I actually get that, I understand that. And that's where I did that original appeal from. I did it from the original account, the one that has the suspended channel. Anyhow, they said, sign into that, sign into that Google account, the one that was authorized, if they say is, but it obviously was, to YouTube channel, and send a description of the issue as a new email. We can't discuss sensitive information details here, so it's important to start, to start a new email conversation with us. So yeah, they don't wanna talk about that third channel on a different account with me logged in on my other YouTube account, Google account that is, I get that. I said, okay, well, I already put all of this information into the appeal. That's why I'm, this is me writing here. The yellow messages are from the agent. So I said, I already did this. And they are, I, I gave them all the information about the different channels, the different email addresses, the different accounts, and they declined it. I said, this is exactly what I did the appeal. And I told them the email address, but I, I redacted that here. And they said, well, we can't really provide you more info. Um, what you can do now is log in using the email address of the specific YouTube channel that you have the concern with. So that's it. Like they want me to contact them from that account. So I said, okay, where should I send the email to? Because remember up here, he says, or the agent says, sign in, send us a description of your, e of your issue as a new email. They want me to email them. Okay. That's what it says here. And I said, where should I send the email? And he says, what do you mean by email? I said, above, you wrote, sign into your Google account, the authorized YouTube channel, and send a description as a new email, blah, blah, blah. I said, what is the email address? He says, again, you need to log in using an affiliate email address of the YouTube creator in order to discuss the information. Right, but how do I contact you from there? I am logged into that account. I was, while I was writing this, I was chatting with them. I was, you know, I have multiple profiles on Chrome, right? So I, I was logged into that account too. This chat I started from the Creator Studio, but I'm able to access my other account because it's been deleted. So I can't go to Creator Studio over there and click the chat button to start talking to the YouTube support. All I can do is send an email. And he says, I see. He said, the email address associated with, okay, so I put the email there. Um, I can email you from that account right now, but I cannot start a YouTube support chat because of the termination. And I, I clarified that the, because the YouTube channel was terminated. Please give me a few minutes to check. So he, the agent goes away. Thanks for waiting. I'm like, okay. So that was like at 1236. So it comes back at 1242 or 1244. And he says, I've checked with my resources and the only information I can provide are the two steps that we've given you above. That is it. So I'm like, really? You're not going to tell me how I can email you? You're just gonna tell me I need to email someone? So I was like, should I email the CEO of, of Alphabet here, Sundar? I mean, I was joking, obviously. Again, we're only allowed to discuss information by the authorized user. I understand, blah, blah, blah. So anyways, I said, you know, you, know, you weren't helpful. Um, they gave me a reference number. I mean, the, <laughs> the whole thing, honestly, is, is laughable because <laughs> like, Every single person I've talked to has said the same thing, that I was impersonating someone, which is presumably myself, and when I'm talking to an actual human, well, who I believe is a human, they give me some steps to do, but it's not even, it's not possible to even do those steps. There's no email address. All there is, is it says send an email, and send it where exactly? So anyways, um, you know, it's been, I guess it's not, it hasn't been that long, but uh, it, it's been since last week. And I, I don't know, I've kind of lost hope here. Um, I don't have the biggest channel in the world, uh, channels, right? My, my online presence on YouTube is not nothing like Linus Tech Tips or even, oh, you know, Clint LGR. He's got, you know, one point something million or, or Tech Moan, bigger channels that are like mine. I'm just a small potato, relatively speaking, with like, I don't know, 170 something thousand on the main channel. The second channel is like 50 something thousand. So, you know, about 230,000 subscribers total. Uh, clearly, um, you know, that's not enough to actually mean much to YouTube where they don't really care to actually help me with anything. I, I can't talk to a human or, I mean, I've, 
I've chatted with people that are presumably human, but they're following a script and not actually listening to what I'm saying. And it wouldn't be hard for anyone to just sort of look at the channels and go, okay, yeah, they all look the same. And they could ask me, so are you the guy who runs that other channel? Oh, yes, you are? Okay, well, I mean, it's a catch-22 here. I don't, I don't even understand. I don't even know how I can like validate myself. I'm uploading, I'm gonna upload this video to my main channels. But they're gonna say, well, I'm an imposter. I, I don't even know <laughs> at this point. I'm not even sure what to do. So, you know, people have offered lots of suggestions. Um, I, um, I, I need to reach out to some of the other YouTubers and maybe they, they can offer a suggestion here on, on what to do. But um, I guess I wish I had known at some point that um, as a creator, I am not allowed to operate multiple channels myself under different Google accounts. I guess apparently if they're all under one account, I'm somehow safe, but if they're not under the same account, then I'm not safe because they would just go and delete them and not actually give me any ability to explain myself or, or anything. So yeah, I just, um, so anyways, I think this is a bit of an explanation and a, a bit of a rant on my part. I, I, I just, uh, you know, I was just getting off the Twitter message, uh, the Twitter DMs with Team YouTube, and they were, like I said, 100% unhelpful with the messages, just basically, they repeated in verbatim what was written in that email and what the, the, the agent here said. So, yeah, I guess um, this is a wake-up call. I am not surprised. I've seen so many stories of this happening to other YouTube creators, channels getting turned off, deleted mysteriously, and only coming back when there's some kind of public outcry, but every other message that was sent to YouTube was met with similar automated responses that are canned and say after careful consideration, which is complete lie, 100% BS, because clearly that's not the case. Um, I mean, it would have been great in this impersonation thing if someone had been looking at that, my third channel and just contacted me on the main channel and said, hey, is this account impersonating you or is this one of, your, one of yours? And I would have said, oh, it's one of mine. But they never did that. And, and what the hilarious thing is, is like, there are a bunch of impersonating accounts of me out there because the people are like trying to scam my viewers and, and everyone else on YouTube with these Telegram me and all that stuff. That stuff just continues unabated. But they shut my channel down, my third channel down. So to my patrons out there, I apologize because, uh, you know, all the, the Patreon content was on that channel. And um, I mean, I think I have copies of that stuff. Well, no, a lot of it I don't actually because the way I would make a lot of those videos is I would actually upload them from my phone uh, directly. Like I just use the YouTube app to you know, shoot, shoot and upload the video unedited. So there's really no copy of those. So unless I can download those somehow, um, I, I guess they're lost. So I'll probably have to go back and uh, go back to all those previous posts on Patreon, anywhere else and, and delete those videos or, or you know, delete those posts or I don't even know, not quite sure what I can do. I don't know if Google Takeout will allow me to even download those videos now that the account's been deleted or, or terminated or whatever. So anyhow, um, yeah, it's just this whole process has been really aggravating. And uh, I was, you know, tonight I'm supposed to be working on a video for the second channel, actually, uh, uh, a mail call video. That's what I had planned. But instead of making this, because, uh, you know, this has just been taking up a ton of my time over the last several days. And when I work on stuff like this, I'm not making videos for my viewers. And that's really what I'm here to do. I'm here to make videos for my the community, for my viewers, stuff that people like watching. Uh, this Apple II on the bench here, there's lots of cool stuff I've been working on here. But no, I'm, I'm working with uh, people who think I'm impersonating myself and don't listen to reason and don't, don't listen to anything. And so anyways, okay, I think I've, I've ranted on long enough. I thank you very much for watching. Um, a huge thanks to my patrons. Their support means a lot to me because if my, all my YouTube channels got deleted all at once, 
then the revenue would be gone entirely from Google and uh, and I would only have a uh, Patreon. So <laughs> diversify, diversify, diversify. I think that's the key word to, to what's been happening to me. And I think it's a lesson that all creators probably learn at one point or another when they have interactions with YouTube. And it's no different for me. So thanks very much for watching. I appreciate you listening. And the next video will not be like this. It will be me actually working on retro technology again. Okay. See you later. Bye. So that's how the whole situation was last night. And I published that video and then I went to go relax, watch some TV, and then I went to bed. This morning I woke up with the intent of making this video, the one you're watching now, actually live on my second channel. So when my alarm went off this morning to wake me up, I picked up my phone and I was about to go into Creator Studio to make the video live, but I noticed that there were some messages on Twitter, some direct messages. So I went and took a look and well, there we go. So it seems that the channel has been restored. So let me back up a little bit because in the, in the video that I made last night, I, I alluded to the fact that I had a conversation on Twitter direct messages with Team YouTube and they had told me the decision about my channel suspension was final. Well, what I ended up doing was I actually took a, a screenshot of that final message in the conversation with them and I posted that to my Twitter, just saying basically, I guess that's it. My third channel is gone and well, here's the tweet. You can read it for yourself if you haven't already seen it. Well, needless to say, when I put that message up there, it kind of blew up, at least for my tweets. I don't have a huge Twitter following or anything like that. So when I post stuff on my Twitter, it, you know, there's a little bit of attention, but it's nothing that big. But this one here says right here, I got 169,000 uh, views to that message. And more importantly, there were tons of retweets and quotes as well. So there was like a minor community outrage around what had happened. Just lots and lots of people who were talking about how uh, they were upset about what happened. I mean, even here, Neil from RMC, because for, from a creator standpoint, it's pretty scary when one of your channels just gets unilaterally deleted. If it's a channel that you monetize and it just gets deleted like that, well, suddenly that, that revenue is gone. And this took like, I think five days to fix. And that channel, as I, as I mentioned, my third channel wasn't even monetized. So I didn't lose any money. The, the actual impact of the brand was, was pretty much nothing, right? It was just mostly stress on my part. But if they had decided to take away one of my monetized channels for some reason and similar unilateral decisions with no seemingly no um, actual interaction with humans, like you have careful review, but it doesn't make sense, you know, that's it's pretty stressful. So other creators were a bit worried about the whole situation. And as I mentioned already, this is not something that doesn't happen. This happens all the time. And generally, the only way to get resolution is through community outrage. So going back to when I woke up this morning, when I looked at my phone and I was about to make this video live, well, the, the old version before I added this uh, addendum to the end, I saw this tweet. Looks like your third channel is back up and running. Can't imagine the frustration, but thanks for providing all the info in the thread for Team YouTube to follow up on. I haven't even gone to look to see if the channel is there, but uh, other people are saying it is back, so obviously it is. And uh, this message was at 8.12 a.m., and I woke up around 8.20 something, 8.21 or something like that. So, you know, that that I'm glad that there was resolution here. Honestly, I'm glad. And, and I posted a, a follow-up here. I said, I'm glad this is finally resolved. With that said, though, it's unfortunate. It took a lot of angry people on Twitter to make it happen. It feels that way one is accepted into the YouTube Partner Program, that there is at least some way to try to get resolutions besides community outrage. And yeah, 100%, the reply was 100%. I know it doesn't help, but... And then, of course, here's the excuses that creator support and, and team YouTube deal with a huge amount of problems and, you know, stuff slips through the cracks. Yeah, I, I, I get that. I mean, YouTube is a massive platform and there's a lot of scamming and fraud going on that YouTube has to spend a lot of effort on trying to take care of. And I alluded to that earlier in this video even, that all those scam channels of people trying to scam my viewers, maybe they get taken down really quickly by the same team that took my third channel down. It's quite possible. But my argument is this. When you're a YouTube partner, like I am, because I have you know big enough channels, I get, I get paid by Google every month. I mean, I get money from ad views and I get tax forms every, every year and I have to claim against my income and all that. It's, I mean, I'm essentially a contractor of YouTube and yet that doesn't seem to matter 
when I reached out to look for clarification on this matter. But when I reached out as a partner and I said, hey, your team made a mistake and you took down one of my channels, they were like, no. I mean, you, you, I, I'm reiterating the conversation that you've already saw that I had with them. And they wouldn't even give me clear information on how to try to resolve the issue. That is what the most frustrating thing was. Having seen responses to my tweet and the posts on my Patreon from other YouTube creators of channels that are like similar size to mine. I don't know if I'm small or mid to small or mid size or how, what you want to call my presence on YouTube. But it seems like creators in the same space as me, this is a typical problem that we're not nearly big enough for YouTube to take us seriously if we reach out to them with problems like this. And we're just lumped into the same bucket as, well, any other channel, whether you don't even monetize or not. And it really stings. It really stings. I'm really glad it got resolved, but I still worry that channels my size, mid, mid to small, I don't know like what bucket I even fall into, just, are left out to dry. And it, it was really only the community outrage, which I can't thank everyone enough for stepping in and, and, and you know, whatever, quoting my tweet and, and adding at the YouTube people and, and finally they listen. But it really sucks that that is what has to happen for things to get resolved. There's one other thing I wanna mention is that last night I noticed that uh, in the retweets of my original here in the quotes, it seems that a thread got started here on Hacker News YouTube suspends a YouTuber's Patreon exclusive account for self impersonation. And uh, they have a link to my Twitter. And uh, yeah, it created a pretty long thread here and more outrage and you know, people saying the stories of the similar stuff that happened to them and are on other platforms too. Like this is not necessarily exclusive just to YouTube. But that was kind of nice that got picked up. So there isn't much more to say about this. I am relieved, absolutely relieved that this is done so I can kind of move on with everything and start getting back to making videos. Rest assured, I'm not intending to turn my channels into like a place where I rant about problems and stuff. Maybe, just maybe, I'll post that on my third channel. Now my third channel is more known about. It was sort of under the radar for a long time. That's why I never really publicized it because I don't generally post public facing videos there. It is more unlisted stuff for supporters and other purposes. But maybe I'll start posting this random type content over there. So if you're interested in maybe seeing that kind of thing, uh, check it out. But uh, all props to Lewis Rossman because I've been following his saga with the New York state of taxation and all that on his channel. And yeah, I would be incredibly stressed out and losing sleep and everything over what, what he went through. and. This felt like, you know, a tiny, tiny sliver of like what he's been dealing with over there. But yeah, anyways, okay. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm aimlessly talking at this point. It's still early, the coffee, I just drank some coffee and I think that's gonna be it. Um, I'm preparing for VCF East. I am flying out on Thursday, today is Tuesday. So it's just days away, I gotta start packing and preparing. And yeah, there's a lot going on and <laughs> that's why that's why this all kind of came at a really bad time. So thank you very much for bearing with me on this and I really appreciate the support that everyone has given me. It just, it means so much to me. And uh, you know, thanks team YouTube and the creator liaison for sanity prevailing in the end. I do appreciate that, that someone finally looked at this and put the pieces together. I just kind of wished that had happened sooner, like maybe with the appeal, that an appeal, yeah, anyways, okay, I've already talked about this enough. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching. Next video on this channel, will be back to normal schedule and on the main channel this weekend, there is gonna be a normal video as well where I'm working on this right here, this Apple II Plus. So yeah, there we go. So thanks very much for watching, stay healthy, stay safe, and I will see you next time, bye.